All right, well, now it's time for our DraftKings Sportsbook predictions. And Ian Parker, ESPN's gambling expert, has joined us for this part of the show. But, Chael, I'm going to start with you. It's on our co-main event. Derek Lewis, we've seen him compete for the title versus Ty Tuivasa, someone who eventually wants to get there. I'm taking Derek Lewis. Look, if you want to look at the athletic skills or even the martial arts skills, I think that Derek is going to impress you more than Ty Tuivasa, but most of it gets thrown out. These guys are going to come across the ring with bad intentions and start throwing heat. I like Derek at home. I think Houston does matter, and ultimately, I'm taking the beast by knockout. You know, I absolutely agree with Chael. I think Derek Lewis uh, gets it done. I think he's the harder puncher. I think these two guys, we're talking about hard punches and knockout shots. I don't think that there's that much of a difference between them. Uh, but if I had to choose one, I would say Derek's probably the harder puncher. I'm going to follow suit here. For me, this is definitely the best matchup for Derek Lewis. He's had in a long time. He doesn't have to worry about the grappling, wrestling. He gets to go in there and, as he said, swang and bang. And I think Derek Lewis does it as good as anyone with that power. Derek Lewis by knockout round one, you said? I think round one. I'm on with that one, Chael. All right, we'll see if Derek Lewis secures his 22nd career knockout on Saturday night. In our main event, it's the rematch between the champion Israel Adesanya and the former champion Robert Whitaker. Chael, I know you've studied this one at length, so who do you believe leaves the building with gold around their waist? Israel Adesanya. I've seen these guys fight at this same weight class doing the same thing. Adesanya came out on top. I will concede that Whitaker appears to me to be the one that's made the most gains, but there was a big deficit, and it also comes down to motivation. Adesanya, oddly, is the one that called for this fight. You know, I, I agree with Chael again. I wish I could disagree with him at some points, but he <laughs> Chael's a smart guy here. Uh, I agree that th there was a huge gap, and I do think that this is going to be super, super competitive. Um, I just think that Adesanya manages distance and range better than anyone else in the division, and I'm not sure uh, that Robert Whitaker has the wrestling ability or pedigree to hold him down long enough to win enough rounds to win the fight. It is scary when Chael picks the main event, and we know how the curse goes, but I'm, I'm also with both of you guys with Israel Adesanya here. Look, we talk about wrestling of Robert Whitaker. It's underrated, but his last three fights, he didn't use it as much. He's been more of a touch-and-go fighter, really staying away from the damage. And for me, Israel Adesanya, people aren't talking about the improvements that he's made. No one really hits him as much, and Jan Blahovich was able to hold him down. That's the blueprint. I don't see that with Robert Whitaker being able to do that. So for me, Adesanya and still, I, I think it will go deeper. I don't see him getting the TKO so early, but I think Israel wins it and retains. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.